All right, YouTube, so I just finished uh, washing, quick detail of the truck. Uh, I obviously didn't go over the, the wheels. I don't have any wheel cleaner, as you can see, and I don't have any tire shine, but cleans up pretty nice. That ceramic coat is really awesome. Uh, these deployable running boards have a really hard time staying clean on, on the dirt road, but I really wanted to make this video to kind of point out the window tint that I had picked up or had got applied. So I got a uh, Lumar ceramic window tint, which is really good at um, blocking UV rays, uh, heat rejection, obviously, uh, while still being able to use um, wireless devices, cell phones, all that jazz, uh, radar detectors. Uh, the front windshield is 50%. So as you can see, I have a neon hat in there and you can't really make it all out that well unless you're real up close to it. Um, I had 35 on my old truck and it was just a little too, uh, too dark at night and the police liked to pull me over for it. But uh, I got a prescription for that now, so we should be good. 15% uh, ceramic on the front driver and passenger windows. As you can see, you can kind of make out what's in there right now. And then in the back, I got 5% ceramic over the factory, which is like, I think about 20%. Then again, 5% over factory on the back, which really makes the inside pretty dark. Uh, as you can see, there's a clear difference between the 15 up front and then the rears. And then one of the common complaints on these trucks is the air conditioning system. I believe they switched to a new Freon for the 2019-2020 model year. Uh, and I do have the moonroof. So what I did is I opted for a 5% ceramic up there as well. Uh, Lumar, probably the best quality film in the market right now. Uh, I'm kind of torn on these uh, black uh, appliques right here. Uh, I don't really mind it, to be honest, and it's also nice too if someone is driving the truck or getting in and they use it to close the door. I don't have to worry about the paint getting all messed up. Uh, this is very easy to clean. Very, very cool. The mirror is obviously a little dirty. Uh, we have hard water where I live, so there are just water spots absolutely everywhere, which kind of sucks. But overall, real impressed with this tent. Uh, not too difficult to see at night out the front, especially with these uh, LED headlights. However, <laughs> you're going to have a pretty hard time seeing out the back at all at night with the 5% over the factory 20. Uh, I did do some other things to the truck. If you subscribe, haven't subscribed, please take the opportunity to subscribe to follow the build. As you can see, I do have a 60 inch LED uh, tailgate light bar, and I believe it's eh, maybe the first one on a fifth gen HD on YouTube. Uh, this is the Putco uh, Blade 60 inch. It uh, has the amber turn signals as well, and it has the uh, Putco Blade quick connect. So uh, I didn't need to tap into the LED light for the reverse function. Um, it had a little quick connect harness to the seven pin right there. Very cool. I also have some door sill protectors I ordered off eBay. There's the rear ones. Uh, the front ones, I messed up on applying, so I'm getting sent a new pair. As you can see right here, it kind of bubbled up. Uh, I believe it was applied probably too, too, uh, too forward towards the engine. It's probably supposed to be applied more back here so the whole thing is level. And obviously there are some air bubbles, but it's a really cool idea. It's a 3M vinyl, I believe, and this part is clear. So whatever color your truck is, that is what the 2500 will uh, display color-wise. Uh, they make these for 3500s as well. And then, uh, and then they just have one with the three bars that go all the way across. Pretty cool. Obviously I have the blue uh, protective tape over this still. Uh, Husky floor liners. Do a video on all this stuff a little bit down the road. 
I just kind of wanted to point out the tent, the main point of this video. But uh, dang, this truck looks really, really good, all cleaned up. Uh, I will be getting, obviously, tire shine and then wheel cleaner, but very, very nice. Also, another thing, if you are going to get a painted front bumper, I would highly recommend, it's almost mandatory, in my opinion, to get a uh, Expel or 3M clear bra at least for the bottom portion of the bumper so where the fog lights are um, I think it's like 219 bucks for just the bottom portion before labor but I did have an unfortunate rock chip right here hopefully uh, my guy can take care of that before he installs the clear bra as well as there and there if any of you out there have the flame red uh, ram and can find the red plugs please let me know i've been looking around for them and haven't been able to find them yet but this will be getting clear broad i think next week uh but yeah if you really want to go all out you can get the um, bumper and grill kit and then they also make uh, a bumper grill and light kit so the bumper kit obviously is just the bottom bumper the grill kit is this trim all right here and right here it does not cover this. And then the headlight kit included with the bumper kit obviously covers the headlight as well. But overall, very happy with this truck. I think it just hit a little, little over 500 miles. Um, but if you haven't yet subscribed again, please consider subscribing. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.